One downside to a fixed area plot is that you might spend a lot of time measuring relatively small trees that don't necessarily contribute much to the overall volume of the stand if you're, if, if you're interested in timber, for example. So the idea is you might be kind of wasting some of your time. Um, so uh, Bitterlich invented a method, um, I think in the 1940s or 1950s, uh, called variable radius plot sampling. So this is a little bit funny. Instead of saying, okay, I'm gonna have a 150th hectare plot, and so I have to double check the numbers, I think that's about an eight meter radius. Instead of having a fixed radius, I'm going to have a variable radius. So if the trees are really big, I want it to be highly likely that I'll measure them because having precise measurements about those big trees is important for the stand. So for a big tree, we might consider a very large plot radius. Whereas a small tree, those are a little bit less important to measure for the total volume of the stand. So for small trees, we might have a smaller plot radius. I'm not gonna get into it too much more than that because you'll be learning about this in greater detail. The idea is that there's a statistical approach set up where we tend to spend more time measuring the big trees and fewer time measuring the small trees. But then uh, you might think, well, isn't that going to bias our results in favor of the large trees? And there isn't because there are some correction factors that we have in there built into it. So I just wanted to briefly introduce variable radius sampling just so you know it exists. Uh, we're not gonna get into too much detail for that. But one part of variable radius sampling that is very helpful is we often use a tool called a prism in order to determine which trees we're going to measure in the plot. Because a prism takes into account how big the tree is and how far away it is from plot center.